Hello, everybody. Let's wait a little bit longer just for courtesy for those that are having any trouble to get in. And we start in one minute. Hello, everybody. We are waiting a little bit longer for those that just connected now. Okay, uh, welcome everybody. I'm gonna start now. Uh, thank you very much for joining this afternoon to know more about this uh, BDLACE QR laser technology. This is a collaboration between Max ID, the international leader laser technology provider, owner of BDLACE, and EMSU, um, flexible packaging partner. My name is Amparo Cervera. I work for Coexpand and EMSU within the marketing department, focused on customers and product development areas. Today, as you see here in, on screen, the agenda, we are going to have several panelists from both companies to talk about our businesses very briefly, the main trends going on in the food industry related to consumer behavior and how this technology is answering to those needs arising nowadays. And this is the BD Lace technology, the fastest laser in the market, able to make up to 100 unique codes per second with perfect quality and scannability. And finally, we will watch the demo videos recorded here at the Innotech facilities. I would like to point out that the first idea was to celebrate this event face-to-face. Uh, -face. However, as you can imagine, the COVID situation didn't allow us to hold it properly. So if you want to ask any questions, please use the question window you can see on your right-hand side. And at the end of the presentation and demos, we will pick up some of them and ask in live to our expert. It's now my pleasure to welcome Cayetano Martinez, Coexpan and MSUR Marketing Director, and Pascal Reina, Innotech Director, uh, to, to start with the presentation. Hello, Cayetano. Hello, Amparo. Thank you very much uh, for the introduction. And uh, thank you very much uh, to all of you for attending today uh, this, uh, this webinar. Uh, at this part of the event, uh, at this part of the event, I will be introducing uh, briefly uh, the group Volantero and their four packaging uh, divisions, uh, where Ensure is framed in order to to, to contextualize uh, a bit our our activity. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, Emsura belongs to a uh, group Alantero, a Spanish industrial a family business group with more than 70 years of experience in the packaging industry, developing for leading fast moving consumer goods uh, categories and, and companies. With an international footprint of 32 factories across uh, 13 countries and with a clear focus on sustainability and, and innovation, the group is formed by uh, four uh, divisions, uh, Coexpan, Rigid Packaging, Dennis Emsur, Flexible Packaging, Leica Graphics uh, with the folding uh, carton boxes, and finally, Estella Print, uh, focus on, uh, on, 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 on book printing industry as well as uh, compact uh, carton for uh, food uh, categories. Let's jump uh, into IMSUR. Uh, IMSUR is the division of, uh, of the Group Alantero dedicated to the manufacture of uh, flexible uh, packaging uh, solutions, uh, primarily uh, designed for the food sector with both uh, rotogravure and a flexographic 
uh, printing uh, technologies. Um, we cover a huge uh, range of, uh, of products and applications like uh, leads uh, for containers, uh, banderols and labels, uh, sleeves, uh, pouches and bags, and die cutting uh, as well. With a total capacity of more than uh, 1 billion square meter and uh, eight production and, and uh, plants uh, in different countries, we can serve our customers across the five continents and more than uh, 60 uh, countries. Again, with a clear a focus on sustainability and circular economy as a key priority for us, uh, it's part of our corporate culture and also uh, part of our business uh, strategy, as uh, Pascal uh, will be uh, explaining uh, later with, uh, with Ignotech. Uh, we are trying to leverage uh, Ignotech as the platform to speed up uh, innovation and circular economy of plastics. Uh, we are collaborating uh, quite active across the value chain uh, with and on several initiatives and associations like uh, CFLEX, uh, Starenic Solutions, uh, Plastipack, European Plastic Converters, uh, Petcore, etc. And the technology and the opportunities uh, that we are presenting today is not connected uh, only with the differentiation or promotion, but also with sustainability and circularity, as uh, we will see in a few minutes. So, Pascal, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Cayetano. So, welcome, everybody. Welcome to InnoTech. Uh, Judith, please, next slide. Thank you. Yeah, so InnoTech opened its door in July 19. It was born to shape sustainable alternatives for plastic packaging, but also to become an innovation platform, co creating value not only for our customer, but also for the the whole industry and, and partners. Innotech was designed as a 1100 square meters open space to get inspired, think and develop into a place where ideas could become a reality thanks to a full set of pilot lines and laboratory. Our main uh, differentiation is a unique uh, setup of pilot lines, you can see on that uh, slide, that speed up and optimize the packaging development processes. We combine different technology, so <clears throat> like extrusion, lamination, coating, and thermoforming. That allows us to, to make uh, packaging for both rigid and flexible uh, solutions, having the wall solution under the same roof. Our complete set of lab equipments also allows us to identify and characterize properties of the new structures developed at the center. As Cayetano said, uh, sustainability is uh, a strategic force uh, and we were focusing on three pillars of the circular economy. Reduce, recycle and reuse. At Coexpan and Sur, we have made a clear commitment to the eco-design and recyclability of our packaging. The current, <clears throat> we currently work with several customers of the food sector raw material suppliers, equipment suppliers, and recyclers on rigid, flexible alternatives to improve the recyclability of the final pack as well as its uh, carbon footprint impact. In summary, I would say that Innotech is the best option on uh, the market to co-develop the food <coughs> packaging of the future, and our goal is clearly to become your reliable innovation partner. Our ambition is that Innotech becomes the reference center to accelerate and address the great challenges ahead in the sector and in the field of sustainability and circularity. Thank you. Thanks very much, uh, Cayetano and Pascal. Great innovation center, looks like a very good asset. Okay, let me introduce you next, uh, Jordi Pignot, President and CEO of Maxa IT. Thanks for joining us, Jordi. Uh, thank you, Alvaro. And, uh, welcome to everyone to the Maxa virtual tour. Carlos, which I have in front of me, if you cannot see, is tracking the audience. We have around 300 people listening. I hope we maintain the audience by the end of my presentation. 
Okay, what is Maxa and what we do for a living? Um, coding, tracing, and marking laser solutions worldwide. This is our that makes us live. Our vision is uh, helping the manufacturing industry to secure their products and their customers' peace of mind while ensuring a brighter tomorrow for our future generations. So just four bits of information about our company. We are the largest, uh, or we have the largest range of laser coding and marking products in the industry. You can find our products and our technology not under the Maxa brand, but also under some of our competitor brands, because we manufacture for third parties, and we also license technology for, for third parties. We were the first company that developed a laser to mark on the fly for the FMCG industry in back in 1987 with presence uh, in more than 80 countries and this year 2020 uh, which has launched the fastest data flexible laser color in the world BDLAs, which is what we are going to present today which can run up to a thousand meters per minute and generate uh, 100 QR codes per second. And uh, how do we do Okay. Uh, why laser? Laser is clean. Uh, it's environmentally friendly. It's precise. You always have uh, clean and nice marks. It's reliable and very competitive. So the fact that it's not using ink, solvents, and other consumables makes uh, total cost of ownership very, very competitive. Uh, here in Max, we have three uh, basically main cornerstones for our uh, business model. Our hardware, which is basically uh, laser sources. We have a complete range of lasers for marking and coding at very high speeds and also for very sophisticated materials, um, happy customers like Nestle. Um, we also have a, a full range of lasers for uh, marking. It's more for plastics and metals in the car industry, aerospace industry, electronics, with companies like Delphi. Um, and also we have a range of uh, inline laser cutting, coding, and scoring, uh, which is a lot for packaging. Unilever, US, or in India are part of our, our customers. And uh, the last range, which has nothing to do with the presentation today, but it's uh, also a nice range to have in the house. It's laser for textile. Industry basically, what we do is the aging of the genes that most of us wear in our daily lives. Customers like Levi's, Gap, HM are part of our customers. Today, can you go to the next one? Thank you. Our software. We have a modular solver to control, manage, and optimize the, not only the production line, but um, we also, it also allows to track and trace from farm to track uh, the life of the product. It also has a model for serialization and efficiency. Those, uh, this uh, modularity allows us also to generate QR codes at the very, very high speeds. Uh, random codes, serialized codes, uh, whatever is needed for your applications. Um, the last addition to our software is uh, 4.0, which allows remote control, remote assistance, and remote efficiency of what's going on in your production lines. Customers like Red Bull China, where we have a very interesting uh, customer engagement application printing QR codes on their cans, and then tracking uh, customer usage. Uh, and our services, which is consultancy, personalization, 
research to get the, the best solution for your needs, training, installation, maintenance, etc. And the remote assistant, uh, preventive maintenance and monitoring of your production. So, like Samsung uh, in Korea, uh, as I said, uh, around 80 presence in 80 territories, mainly uh, independent partners, but we have around 10 uh, own branches in different parts of uh, Hard installations like Coca-Cola Nigeria, which is very, very hard environments, but those are uh, happy customers. This is a little about our sales evolution, growing year after year and uh, also growing in our employees. And that's all. Carlos, did we lost a lot of the audience? No, we have uh, 100, 300 people following. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you very much. What's next? Okay, thank you, Jordi, for all these uh, explanations and examples. Very good indeed. Okay, let's now to uh, go uh, to understand better what's going on out there among consumers. I pass the voice to Cayetano again. Thanks, Ampar, again for the introduction. Uh, let's move into the customer uh, engagement uh, section. Uh, at this point, uh, we will try to understand a bit better from a customer perspective, uh, the main uh, dynamics and trends that are shaping in somehow the new packaging uh, landscape. It is important uh, to mention two points uh, before tackling this point. The first one is that the customer, the consumer has already changed uh, from traditionalists, uh, baby boomers, X generations, millennials, set generation, all of them with different habits and behaviors in terms of purchasing and consumption. The second point uh, to mention is that the, these trends are applicable to all categories in the fast moving consumer goods uh, and they are totally connected uh, to each other. As a major trend, uh, we, will, we will like to mention uh, the following. Some of them are clearly accelerated by the current uh, COVID uh, context. Okay, Healthier, locally sourced food, uh, customer engagement, uh, smart packaging, uh, e-commerce, uh, relevant and cool experience uh, offered by brands and sustainable packaging as a global priority for the packets, uh, for the packaging food industry. At the end, brands need to offer information and content uh, to engage the consumer. Information and uh, transparency about the products, uh, origin, uh, nutrition, allergies, etc. Information about the packaging itself, uh, materials, sourcing, how to recycle, etc. And the last but not less uh, important, entertainment. And when we speak about entertainment, we are speaking about uh, promotion, we, have, we are speaking about the augmented reality, personalized uh, interactions, uh, rewards, uh, customization. So we believe that uh, the new QR coding and packaging solutions that we are presenting today uh, will support uh, brand owners to answer uh, these demands uh, moving forward. Then it's important to speak, to, to, to speak about the speed and uh, the speed is the name of the game. Uh, things are moving uh, really fast. Uh, at the moment of truth, uh, and the packaging plays a key role uh, at this point. Uh, with today's uh, consumers being impacted uh, with more than 5,000 marketing messages day at, at a daily basis, being able to transform in a three seconds with a marketing ad, a text, or a powerful message is a really a powerful tool also for the, for the brands. We know that engagement is the first uh, and a very critical, uh, let's say, step of driving sales and long-term uh, customer uh, loyalty. But also the packaging through the QR coding technology is an ideal channel uh, and is in order to understand better the consumer, uh, who they are, uh, where they come from, where they buy, uh, what, what they like. 
So at the end, it's about uh, moving fast, uh, engaging and knowing better the consumer. And it is one of the great current trends that the QR uh, codes offer to brand owners. Then the post-COVID uh, world, uh, I will finish the, this uh, customer engagement section with the following point, uh, the post-COVID world and the opportunities for new digital technologies like uh, QR uh, coding that we are presenting today. As we can see in the graphic uh, below, uh, clearly uh, the QR code packs launch uh, evolution is clearly moving uh, in the fast mo moving consumer goods in all categories representing uh, almost a 350% growth in the last five years. According to Mintel and its uh, recent study about uh, QR coding presented some months ago, uh, we can extract some relevant insights that I would like to, to highlight. Uh, among the several consumer concerns, uh, one is uh, critical and, uh, and, and is really concerning the, the consumer and is the, the hygiene and the safety of the products. What Mintel reveals in, is the fact that there is a very positive uh, experience after using a smart device to, to, to avoid further risk. And, and, and here is where our solution is playing a key role. Through the QR coding uh, solution, the shoppers can easily and quickly access detailed information uh, regarding uh, these concerns. In the same way, and connecting the application with sustainability and recyclability, uh, the QR code tool can give the consumers the ability to understand exactly uh, which parts of the packaging uh, are recyclable and how to recycle uh, properly uh, the packaging. Uh, the packaging. So, brands that include uh, that include such a kind of instructions and information and content are more likely to connect with uh, with the consumer uh, moving forward. So, Victor, I think that the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Cayetano. Yes, this is a lot to do with uh, the solution that we are going to see now. Uh, with Victor Marquez, Maxas Global Key Accounts Director, uh, will now deliver the information about the, the delays. Excellent. So, Thank you, Amparo, for the introduction, and uh, thank you, everyone, for um, to invest time in this event. Uh, and also, thank you, Cayetano, for explaining us how important it is to apply the technology in packaging to engage customers and uh, uh, influence their behavior. Um, I would like to start my presentation explaining that in the same way that uh, Dirk Osbury, uh, some of you may know, uh, changed the high jumping discipline in 19... Uh, 69 Olympics by introducing a new jumping uh, technique on his back. Maxa is jumping today to the customer engagement arena, introducing a new laser technology to break the coding speed world record. All right, uh, let's go for it then. There you have it. So, um, Let's first introduce uh, the playing field. And uh, I think uh, already Cayetano has done, has done a great job uh, explaining us what the market trends are, um, maybe a bit more uh, specific to the uh, coding and, and marketing industry. The, the market industry we are moving is the FMCG, of course, and this is where we have the most demanding re requirements for manufacturing lines, both in terms of speed and high quality marking. There is also this new trend about the digitalization uh, of the packaging. This is strengthening the capability of the uh, brand owners to trace their own products, and it's opening uh, uh, engagement opportunities between manufacturers and consumers. Uh, sustainability, sustainability. Society and all major brand owners are committed uh, to sustainable packaging in the coming years. This is a public. Uh, um, event, a public uh, co um, commitment and, uh, and uh, the market trend that uh, we have to follow. And uh, last but not least, uh, fast uh, reactions from consumers, uh, communication delivered, but not, not only at the consumer age, but also at the um, uh, systems, standards, services, and solutions. So as very well Cayetano said, uh, speed is the name of the game. 
is uh, this demand covered? This is something that we could uh, talk to each other and, and, and explain about that. Indeed, uh, it is not with current ink-based uh, coding solution, and that's because the production speeds required by the market are not reached. Uh, current print quality is not optimal and can, could degrade over time. The use of consumables and intensive maintenance uh, has a very high cost, and uh, unavoidable line stops uh, impact strongly on productivity and overall equipment efficiency. Uh, thus, also unsustainable solutions um, are there due to the fact that inks and solvings uh, are being used, right? So, the question we could make uh, ourselves is, uh, what is a Max ID solution to this demand? Well, Max ID solution to this demand is BDLAS, and uh, BDLAS is a unique and complete coding laser technology, which is enabled enabling this that we are talking uh, about so much digitalization of the packaging how is doing this this technology is giving a unique digital passport in the form of a QR code which can be used then to track the package from production to consumption and far beyond so here you can see some examples of uh, customer engagement opportunities like uh, you can see a treasure hunt where there is a hidden price inside uh, the QR code and uh, I can tell you my Daughter is looking uh, every weekend into those things to, to get the Disney trouble uh, <laughs> over there. Potential information uh, from brand owners to consumers. So you are delivering this information to your consumers and you are getting information uh, through polls uh, um, about the end user opinions about uh, your own products. So what's unique about these solutions? Uh, two key aspects, and uh, we have also mentioned that, speeds. Uh, those solutions can go up to 1,000 meters per minute and uniqueness of codes. So this allows for individual QR codes and not only this, but uh, it allows for them in, uh, uh, in batches of 100 per second. All right, a little bit of a short history about the BDLAs. So one, wh when was uh, BDLAs uh, introduced? Go there. Oh, well, BLS was introduced uh, firstly in, um, in the GSM, uh, GS1 Global Forum in February 2020. Uh, and this uh, forum took place in Brussels. Um, and it was part of uh, one of the events called What's Possible Workshop. In that workshop, um, there was a real BDLAs product which uh, was put into operation. And uh, you see the wheel there. We had 10 unique pro uh, codes that were printed. Uh, at the speed of, of 1,000 meters per minute, they were unique. And this was in front of a uh, presence of uh, an audience of 200 people just uh, before uh, the COVID came in, right? So uh, that was the product launch. And what you will see today after this presentation is really a much more powerful technology presentation, which is, has been performed at the uh, InnoTech uh, Center uh, with a real printing machine. All right. So. What are uh, the features and associated benefits uh, of the BDLA solution? Indeed, we have already named two of them, right? This is unrivaled speed uh, around uh, up to 100 meters per minute. And this is basically right now faster than any of today's production line speeds. So it's ready for the future. And this is done thanks to a disrupting way of generating the code. Uh, where conventional inkjet or even conventional lasers are physically are limited and not able to reach those speeds. Second, unique codes. So those 100 uh, um, codes per second um, printed are unique. And this is thanks to a full code management software suite solution to the one that uh, Jordi was mentioning before, uh, which has been also developed by Maxa and is called Integra Serialization. So in the, when we talk about busy lays, uh, this is more than just a laser machine but a complete end-to-end -end solution that can solve your uh, customer engagement uh, needs. Perfect quality. So we provide a high definition of the code and that's because of the way the laser head is constructed uh, without, uh, so you have perfect um, definition, but also precision on the positioning of the code within the package. It's really tight and uh, it can be really, uh, micro um, positioned and those of course without the issues uh, related to inkjet like a blur marking or difficult absorption of the material of the ink by the material and non-dry inks 
some 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 kind of deviation of the of the marking. All right, and the last one is premium scannability. So the system itself has been designed to optimize dot size for smartphones, and this is providing the fastest uh, scanning uh, speed as well as a more optimum uh, scanning process. You don't have to go up and down, go up and down. It's very fast and easy. All right. Moving forward, how does the machine look like, right? So what we see here uh, is the BDLA's machine, finally, there you are. Uh, with this unit, uh, you can print uh, codes up to 60 dots and in a round of uh, 2.4 centimeters of space. So Carlos Gana, which is our Max BDLA's product manager, will give you all the details associated uh, to the machine, right? And uh, right now, what I will do is I'll uh, select the rate. Um, the, I, I explain you how to select the BDLA's machine for your application. Well, uh, now you look at this uh, slide, and, and um, that could seem a hard job to do, but indeed that is uh, quite a simpler one. And and let's start by the end. Uh, the end is when you send an order to our factory. Uh, please send orders as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, so you just just kidding. You just need to tell us how many dots uh, you would like to print, and what is uh, the power of the laser system. Okay, those parameters, as you see in the table, will depend on your specific needs. And uh, again, Carlos will uh, give you examples and explain you later how to go from. Uh, uh, your specific needs uh, up to the number of dots and powers so that uh, it will be shown you to uh, then later and to finalize this uh, presentation uh, let us just uh, wrap up um, the BDLA's uh, solution benefits Two main aspects uh, we've gone through the presentation. Allows for traceability throughout the value chain. This is also very well uh, explained by Cayetano. And, and there are potential aspects of the traceability part. So from tracing the origin of the supply eh, of the raw components, and then you code them into the initial QR code sequence. And to provide a unique QR code uh, during the production of the, pack of the package, and then what you are doing is providing internal manufacturing uh, information for traceability. And still with traceability uh, in the distribution um, um, area, you can control, it allows you to control the distribution areas and make sure that the products that you are selling are sold at the agreed prices in the agreed zones. But then you enter into the engagement uh, with the end customer, and then you have to position and differentiate. Uh, this helps you to position and differentiate brand owners at the retail shelf uh, because it's um, giving them the capability to provide important product information at the purchase moment. And uh, further there, it can also allow to establish a dialogue with the consumer long after uh, has left the shop and uh, by offering them delicious recipes to cook their products at home. And uh, continuing with the uh, uh, traceability, it can go up to the recycling stage, and this is contributing to the uh, circular economy, sustainability trend, and uh, of course, uh, it's to provide uh, data uh, and uh, analytics to brand owners, which is indeed the so-called new goal. All right, and finally, last but not least, uh, we are also um, having all the advantages of uh, Maxa Laser in this. Um, in this um, um, BDLA solution. Because if you see at the coding market needs, and we close the circle from the uh, beginning of the presentation, you will need uh, to have reliable equipment. And this is uh, uh, achieved through the Maxa laser systems because we are using Maxa machinery. This is uh, based on world best in class suppliers uh, from US, Germany, and Italy, and European manufacturing in Barcelona. Uh, it allows, so you need to have permanent codes. Uh, that's a, a very high um, market demand because uh, it's hot in Asia, Southeast Asia, and, and recently also in uh, South uh, America. Uh, because uh, uh, in order to secure the traceability and about counter finding, so, someone um, um, may unintentionally erase the inject code to sell it again in the black market. So the, the, the laser technology itself is permanent, and therefore you get this uh, warranted. Uh, Market needs uh, require high productivity, so basically no machine uh, downtime. 
laser technology has no moving parts, has no ink, no nozzle blockages to be cleaned, and has a very long lifetime of the laser system. Low maintenance and costs. It means no consumables, but also minor time to maintain the system up and running. And this uh, last point uh, makes uh, for the best uh, total equipment investment, meaning that you have the highest return on your investment because at the moment you start printing, is the moment when you start saving in comparison with other technologies. And last but not least, the most sustainable uh, and ecological solution thanks to its e-coding nature. So not using any kind of ink for printing and avoiding toxic emissions. And uh, just to reiterate, on the last uh, four aspects of uh, the value proposition of the BDLA solution, which are high-speed production, coding at 1,000 meters per minute, personalized packaging, unique codes, this means more than 100 unique QR codes per second, marking quality with a class A high definition QR codes, and a smartphone readability with the optimized uh, dot sizes. So now in the following part of the MSUR uh, the event, the MSUR Maxa team will demonstrate you all of these features. So I hand it over to you, uh, Amparo. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, very well explained, um, very clear, all the description you made. Right, so now it's time for the show and um, for the videos. So uh, I am going to introduce you our technical expert. This is uh, Carlas Ganao, BDLA's product manager, and also Alejandro Garcia de Vietma, technical director of Ensur. Please. Thank you, Amparo, for the introduction. Um, before we play the video, I would like to explain you uh, what you are going to see. Um, this innovative laser system is composed by uh, three components. So we have the cabinet, the laser head, and also the umbilical between them. On the cabinet, we generate the beam laser and we have the processing capability to manage the codes and uh, printing. The laser head is ultra compact, which allows the optimal integration on the converting machine just 60 millimeters of diameter that permits to line up 15 heads on 1.6 meters of web width. The head is connected to the rack by an umbilical that can have a length up to 25 meters. This facilitates the integration as well. In this demonstration, we have used the video lays with 35 dots and a power of 240 watts to reach the 600 meters per minute of this application. But the number of dots and the power will depend on your specific needs. For example, going back to Victor's slide, uh, if you need to put more text inside the QR code, the size and number of dots will grow up following the GS1 standard. Different countries may have different regulations, but the system will be able to cope with it. Depending on the application, maybe you need a QR code for customer engagement or perhaps data matrix for product traceability. That will also change the number of needed dots. So finally, the power will depend on the substrate, the printing speed, the code quality required, and the selected reader. So um, Alejandro, please uh, let us know more. Thank you, Carles, for your detailed uh, technical information. Um, I will be guiding you through the video demonstration together with Carles. We're going to see a bd -Lace QR laser coding on two different materials, both pre-printed ones, lead and labels for yogurt caps, paper PET and paper hot melt, respectively. For this specific super high speed laser coding bd -Lace demonstration, we will be using our Normechanica multipurpose labo machine as it was a printing press able to operate up to 600 meters per minute. So, you did please, uh, let's move on the video.
This is our Innotech uh, uh, building located at our headquarters in Alcalá de Henares, Madrid. A shared powerful research and development tool for Coespan and MSUR, equipped with everything you need to make your innovation happen. Not only you will find a full range of pilot and industrial equipment, also an expert team and a modern lab at your disposal for any test. For this demonstration, we created unique QR codes redirecting to different web pages that are printed one after another. The user can create message and manage this laser system by using the market PC software and also a touch screen. Once the delays adjustments are done, Fernando will be preparing both materials. In this case, lead and labels for your caps through the web rollers of the laminator. So they go from the unwinder to the rewinder at the specified speed with a perfect B delays coding synchronization. And there we go laser coding on a printed surface of the material, individual QRs different sizes and all perfectly inkless printed. No consumables, no solvents, perfect process consistency, everything up to 600 meters per minute, as you can see on the screen. And then after the labels, the yogurt cap leads. So we have now the complementary packaging fully QR coded. Moreover, smartphone readability is perfect, even with a small QR coding that allows the customer to insert it easily in the design. Finally, I think this is we lost all... you for uh, some seconds, Alejandro. You were. Yeah, I think I had some connection internet. problems. Yeah, no worries. Unfortunately. This always happens, right? It's okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the QA. If, uh, if you would like to ask more questions, uh, our uh, pop up window is open. I have some that I've written here. So if you guys can join me with uh, your camera on, right? Uh, there you are. All right. So, um, well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for all the explanations. Uh, the video will be, well, everything is recorded. The, the video also will be hand over to you, so you will be able to watch it again. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna start uh, with this uh, with this first question uh, for Carlos. Okay, how the laser solution can manage and print so many variable codes per second? Okay, thanks for the question. So basically, the laser has a buffer of codes that will be filled by the Integria serialization software. So the after each print the laser will jump to the next entry uh, for the new content for the qr code so once uh, the buffer of available codes decreases so the laser will ask for new codes to the integra serialization software and uh, the software will provide uh, hundreds of uh, new codes uh, to fill again the uh, buffer of the laser. So this is how the laser will always have enough codes to reach uh, data speeds. Okay, thanks, Carlos. Let's move to another one. Okay, this time for Alejandro, for Emsur, this is for you. Right, with all this done, does it mean that laser coding is going to replace inject for QR coding applications? 
Well, uh, I think uh, Victor gave us uh, previously some uh, some uh, questions to be considered about this. Uh, absolutely, it is uh, also my opinion that VDLA's high-speed coding is going to replace uh, standard inkjet devices in the market. Uh, I can think I can think uh, of uh, many advantages on top of the ones that Victor mentioned before. Uh, the laser coding is not limiting at all the, the speed of the production process. The readability is always perfect, no matter the speed you are uh, running your press or, or your slitter rewinder. Uh, uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, inject devices are not able to print over 120, 140 meters per minute uh, with a very high cost of maintenance, with a lot of, uh, with a very uh, strong lack of consistency. And don't forget the, the heavy expense in consumables. And uh, again, it is an inkless printing, meaning no solvent, no residues, perfect for direct food contact. Thank you, Alejandro. Okay, um, I have another one for you, actually, now that you are talking, sorry. <laughs> Just get into the chat. Right, so, can I also mark pin codes? Yes, of course you can. You can print pin codes, you can print QR, you can print both. Uh, I, I think uh, Victor made it clear before also. If I, I if, if I were the customer, I would go for the most uh, sophisticated option, which is uh, combining both to give more flexibility to my traceability system or to my fidelity uh, uh, option. Thank you, Alejandro. Right. Well, we have actually many questions here. We are going to be the answering many. We have time. OK, this is for Victor. All right. Codes are thought to be read with a mobile phone or with a vision system. All right. So, well, indeed, uh, both are possible. And it depends a little bit on your application. Uh, when we saw the, the diagram of uh, how do I choose the BD lace, so if you are looking for a traceability application, normally you will uh, focus on uh, data matrix codes, smaller, uh, that can handle the uh, same type of information. And then in that case, what you're using normally is a vision system, a scanner, uh, standard scanner in a, in a production line. So that's, that's the most usual. If you additionally to the uh, um, to the um, um, traceability application want to introduce a customer engagement, then the QR code can make both jobs. And uh, you you start from scratch with the with the QR code and then go ahead and move it. And and in that case, you would be using the vision system for the traceability. But when it, it reaches the point that it goes to retail or uh, end user uh, at their homes, then they will scan uh, the, the, the QR codes with a mobile phone. So indeed, both both options are possible. It depends a little bit more on your um, on your application, and and, uh, and and that would be the answer, I think. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Thanks. All right, no and the one here. What materials can be coded with this solution? Alejandro, that's for you. Materials. I, yeah, I always, I always, I always say the same thing. It needs to be tested, of course. But uh, nevertheless, we have printed on many materials uh, at the Maxa Lab uh, with good, very good results. The real limitation will be. Uh, mainly uh, the color contrast and the, the capacity for the absorption, the wavelength, the laser wavelength absorption of the background color. Uh, we can suggest the customer with a palette of preferred colors to be um, coded on, but in any case, we can think of uh, a dedicated color background uh, below the, the QR, so uh, having, knowing that the, uh, we are able to synchronize so well, this uh, this color will not be visible at all at the end of the process. So this will not be a limitation. Now that we are actually talking about this and the solutions, I would like to uh, emphasize that we have done these um, trials at the Innotech, right? We have this pro production made and different colors as well. So if you want to receive some samples, 
please let us know or write an email to these uh, emails that you are reading right now on the screen. And uh, we can actually get you some samples if you are very interested in it. Right, let's uh, continue because we are actually ahead of the time. So we have time for another couple of questions, right? Let's see, um, this is for Carlos, I guess. Yes, this is it for you. The laser code visibility is better than with, uh, with inject? Um, well, so the dimension of the dot has been adjusted to 400 uh, microns uh, to make an easy readability uh, for any device. So then the position of all dots will be also very uh, precise. So it will also uh, get this matrix of uh, perfect uh, dots. So if the material where we are printing uh, is uh, dark, en dark enough, so then we'll have the good contrast that will uh, give us a very good uh, and easy uh, reading of that uh, printing. So then basically it always will depend on the material, but if we have a good contrast, for sure that we can uh, get a really clear and a good uh, marking. Okay, thank you, Carlos. I think that this one is one of those questions that uh, are more interesting for our uh, audience. Uh, for Victor, okay, what's the price of such a laser solution? <laughs> well, that's a million dollar question, Amparo. <laughs> well, um, I would like to do like the marketing guys and start by saying it depends, okay? And uh, it depends, um, it means that uh, on the one hand, you have to select uh, what's the right um, DVLAs for your application. It means, of course, if you are marking uh, more dots, uh, you have uh, more price, but then depends on the application. Again, if it is a traceability with a data matrix, uh, you can uh, go with a, a smaller ones. And the other aspect of it uh, would be, of course, to identify which speeds you want to reach, because then we will need more power. Therefore, a more powerful machine at the end is, is a bit more of cost in that in that regard. So it depends and it has a justification of the of the it depends. So basically, when we know what your needs are, we will select what the bid delays um, is and then we would be able to give you a price. But I think the question um, um, is there is a right question, of course, but it has to be looking uh, with a broader scope uh, because here we, we should not look only at the investment co costs, but on the total cost of ownership costs. Uh, when you think that there are no consumables, when you think that there are um, uh, maintenance is uh, uh, very reduced, when you think that there are no downtime stops, which is money at the end, uh, you have to consider the investment costs uh, for a certain uh, number of uh, years. And uh, as we said before, the moment you start printing is the moment you start saving. And therefore, when you look at the total cost of ownership of a laser uh, solution like the bd Lace one or uh, of an inject equivalent solution, well, there is no equivalent because there are not speeds that are matched. But if you would look at something similar, uh, you will have the return on investment, depending on, on your speeds, very, very fast. And, and that's the question you should answer indeed. What's the total cost of ownership on the long run for this type of solution? Okay, great. Thanks, Victor. In any case, um, I, I repeat to the audience no, that we have these email addresses where you can ask directly to our expert uh, if you have any other doubt and uh, obviously about these devices as well. Okay, I think that we have time for one last question. If you agree with me, all right, uh, let's go for it and then uh, we'll close the event. Um, this is for Alejandro. Uh, where will the converter install such device? That's a good question. Uh, I think we can think of two possibilities. Uh, we can do uh, either on the press or on the slitter rewinder. Uh, I would do it on the on the flexo or rotogravure press because uh, I think we would get the advantage of a non-stop production at a very high speed in a one-shot uh, production process. Uh, that doesn't mean we cannot do it on the slitter rewinder uh, with an easier uh, installation, but again, what we look forward is to have uh, the greatest productivity in the processes. 
Exactly. Thank you, everyone. I think that this is uh, our questions time is over. Um, there are many more questions actually here. So glad to see that uh, has such an attention and uh, our audience is uh, interested in this. Please, uh, no worries. We will answer all of your questions in a private email. Uh, your, uh, we have your contact details, so we will contact you soon. And uh, just uh, again, thank you very much for joining today. Um, you can contact us directly to, uh, through our emails. And uh, we will send you a copy of this webinar uh, with all these questions answers and the video as well. And obviously, we would like to know what do you think about this. So we will uh, send you a questionnaire for feedback. So be kind. <laughs> Well, uh, again, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks uh, to all of our experts and uh, Max and uh, Msur and Innotech uh, colleagues. And enjoy your evening. I'm going to close this now. Keep safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.